the ice-covered land of Wazet. The allied forces of Horn and Leonis, led by Mont, begin their advance. Their goal, Wazet Castle. The rescue of Schitzelt, and the head of the tyrant Kuri. However, Kuri commands a secret weapon for use against Rundal. Melnia, who now sides with Kuri, plots to exchange Schitzelt for the ring. Mont is aided in the exchange of a fake and succeeds in Schitzelt's rescue. However, Wizette activates its secret weapon, the Ice Golem. Its power overwhelming, Mont and his companions face a desperate battle. Why do you stop? You think I would flee? Tell me what goes through your mind. Nothing. I am devoid of any special emotions for this place. You find this surprising? I thought that one was supposed to feel something in their heart when they return to their homeland after a time. I abandon this nation. I no longer have a homeland. Is that so? I suppose it was a different answer you had hoped for. I was intrigued as to what a homeland could be. A mere curiosity. They say your homeland is a cultivation chamber in the depths of the Sanctum. That is correct. Do you not think it's time you told me? Told you what? The reason we have come here. You seek something here, in the lands of Leonis, do you not? Hmm. I will be little help to you if I do not know what to look for. You will know soon enough. Fine. We will arrive in Leonis territory shortly. I suggest you don your protective gear to keep the miasma at bay. They say it rots the body from within once entering the lungs. I imagine the gear displeases you, but I assume you do not wish to die just yet. Human beings are truly difficult forms of life. <laughs> Darling. Ah! Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Do not forget who it is you face. You think you have won just because you hold off the ice golem? This doesn't bode well. It looks like they mean to surround us. Don't worry. I won't let that happen. Ah! That nasty woman! All she does is aim for me! They plot to surround us by keeping us pinned to this spot. What do we do? I will draw Melnia's attention. That should give you the chance to move. It won't work! The risk is too great. Don't worry about me. I will not go beyond my bounds. Use this chance to thin the enemy's numbers as best you can. Let's go! I can't believe King Mont at times. There is naught for it. 
Let us fight back and fell as many foes as we can! Got it! The Ice Golem should be arriving in front of the castle about now. With our father murdered and no family left of our own in this land, it was Minwu's profound knowledge of magic that spared us the full extent of Kuri's wrath. I was imprisoned and used as leverage to force Minwu to work in the Magic Research Institute. Officially, they worked to revive an ancient magic, but Kuri's true design was the completion of the Ice Golem. It would have been easy to take Min Wu and leave Wazette behind us. Yet even had we done so, the Ice Golem would have been completed one way or another. If that came to pass, there would be none in Ardra who could defy Kori. And so for this reason, I played the part of the prisoner while Minwu continued her research at the Institute as she was ordered. All so that we might seize an opportunity to destroy the Ice Golem. Alas, my sister was impatient, and she failed to destroy the construct completely. She fled the castle and found Haven at Glacella's side. I suppose the only reason I wasn't executed was because they wanted to make Min Wu's talents theirs once more. What a miserable fool Kuri was. Who goes there? You. You're Cayenne! Why are you here and not rotting in your cell? <laughs> Why indeed? Do not play coy with us! We'll drag you all the way to King Kuri's throne if we must! What an entertaining prospect. By all means, do try. Hmm? <sighs> Good gods. This is uncalled for. Was that? Perhaps you misunderstand me. Just what is there to misunderstand? I was not talking to you. Then... Who? Do not tell me the lot of you can be so oblivious. <laughs> I'm glad to see you still draw breath. Lady Glacella, is this... Yes. This is the Cayenne I spoke of. Lady Glacialda's childhood friend. This really was uncalled for, you know? What do you mean? I need no assistance here. Must I clearly enunciate it for you to comprehend? Hey! There's no need to be like that. That's right. We were all worried the worst may have befallen you. And that is what was uncalled for. What's that supposed to mean? I assume you infiltrated the Magic Research Institute by way of force? Oh no. The Institute was not so heavily guarded until a certain group of intruders found their way in. Is that not correct? Yes, that's the way of it. And there you have it. I am sorry for how this happened. I grew impatient when I thought something could befall you. I never fight battles I cannot win. I would have thought you were aware of my ways. Though, I suppose it does not feel bad to be the object of your concern. Lady Glacella, you said that you and Lord Cayenne were childhood friends. That is right. He 
was the purest of boys back then. <laughs> you word it almost as if I've grown twisted of heart. Not only you, Serges as well, he... That one has become far more twisted than I. You know this to be true, don't you? He loathes the nobles, the royal family, all who have power. I do not speak of mere hatred. He loathes them from the very depths of his being. As your childhood friend, I give you this warning. Do not allow yourself to trust Sergius. <laughs> Enough talking! In the name of the Magic Research Institute Security Platoon, we, we will dispose of you. Only you, Glacella, shall be taken alive. There seems to be quite the price on your head, after all. Where do we stand in this battle? One careless push and Meldia's gun will find its mark. This is getting bothersome. Every moment we spend like this. Indeed. They direct their troops to ensure we are surrounded. Our plan is for Lorenzo and Frederica to strike a path through the enemy while I draw Melnia's attention. Yet... You will not endure for long. That's right. But this is the only way. If we do not hurry, Engelbert will. Indeed. I could not have imagined he would take that armor from the castle. Did he fell it? What incredible power! He put that massive thing down in a single blow. No, the battle is yet to be won. How can that be? It got up as if nothing had even happened. The damage it sustains is repaired by an immense source of magic. Kilfe. Repaired by magic? How can this be? It is exactly as I stated. Some form of facility likely transfers magical power to the golem. I thought it peculiar. I sense not a trace of life from that thing. But for a construct of that size to be driven by magic... Is something like that truly possible? I am not well versed in such matters. But I have heard that Wazette has a facility they call their Magic Research Institute. If the source of its power is not severed, it will rise time and time again. Uh. Mont, that must be what Glacella spoke of. So that's what she means to do. <gasps> Lilith! I'm fine. It's just a nasty scratch. It is us who you face. Mont. You speak true, Melnia. Let's take them down and rally to Engelbert! This is... the deepest chamber of the Magic Research Institute, right? In other words, our destination. So, that's the contraption? Indeed. That is the device which feeds magic to the ice golem. We have to destroy it at once. Uh, Cayenne! Impatience does little but dull one's judgment. Do you not sense this presence? <sighs> we will not be advancing without a fight. Sister, I sense something abnormal. Kuri is cautious, if little else. 
It seems he has prepared a gatekeeper. A correct observation. But we can deal with any gatekeeper, as long as we fight together. Such foolish naivete will claim your life, you know. Huh? You have been warned. Having said that, I suppose we will have done well if we only lose two of you. Hold it. What do you mean to say? Get ready. It's almost upon us. Wh what in heaven's name? creature inside the Magic Research Institute. I imagine measures were taken to improve security after Minwu blew part of this place away. Yet you still came here alone despite having such an inkling. I am capable of taking care of myself. However, I am not quite deft enough to look out for others in the midst of battle. <sighs> I'm sorry. What do you have to apologize for? I thought that seeing my own righteousness prevail justified everything. But righteousness is different to each of us. I failed to arrive at this realization. And because of that, you and Minwu... As long as you see that now, all is well. I am. We will defeat Cory and bring change to Wazet. But... we are all but defeated ourselves. What is going on here? Is this really all it takes to make you give up? What? It cannot be. Victora... Luartha... How embarrassing. <laughs> You can't even take care of one little monster. What do you want? I don't think that is the tone you should be taking with those who offer a helping hand. A helping hand? Spare me your mockery. If you think your sins can be wiped away by coming here... You clearly misunderstand us. <laughs> We're not here to atone or anything like that. Then why are you here? Because this was the more exciting path for us. Would you not agree? That alone was your reason to come here? Oh, you didn't know this kind of thing is an issue of grave importance to us. That's right. Don't be absurd. The two of you cannot face it alone. If you are so worried for our well-being, why don't you get up and lend us that spear of yours? <sighs> now, let's go! It is over. <sighs> Not yet. This is what Kuri so desperately protects, isn't it? From what I could gather, this is what they use to supply the Ice Golem with magical power. I would say that's the gist of it. I must know one thing. Why did you betray Kuri? Betray? You said that you would defeat Kuri and claim the throne for yourself. 
Yet, I did not think there was truth to it. It's not as if I was remotely capable of spending a night in that wicked old man's presence. Then you deceived Kuri? Deceived? Oh, what an unflattering choice of words. I simply gave him something to dream of. We were gonna deal with the old ledger once the odds were irreversible, but it seemed he figured us out. I'd say it was to be expected. I could not stomach even a moment of his touch, after all. Kuri abandoned you for Melnia. Hey! That's not funny! I tossed Kuri aside. I would appreciate it if you did not think otherwise. That should do it. I'd say so too. <laughs> Thank you. I don't need your thanks. You can hate me as much as you like. That's what makes me who I am, after all. Where will you go now? To find a land that better suits me. I have had more than enough of this gloomy, ice-covered place. Bye-bye! In any case, we succeeded in our mission. I would not be so sure about that. Is there something that bothers you still? The purpose of this contraption is to supply magical power to the Ice Golem. Meaning? The Ice Golem will continue to function for a time even with its supply of magic cut off. Then the rest falls to King Mont and the others? Indeed it does. Mont, Mashiri, and everyone with you. May you all be safe. We enter the castle now. I suggest you be wary. Monsters seem to have found their way in, under the shroud of the miasma. Hmm. Huh. What is that? What do you intend for that enormous crystal? We will siphon its magic and deliver it to the Sanctum. That is our mission here? It is but one of our missions. Hmm. Let us head to the castle. The dear place you were born and raised.